Hi guys and welcome to another video brought to you by the good people at FM Wonder Kids. Today we're going to be looking at the best young Polish players in Football Manager 2016. As with a lot of the other videos in my series, we have simmed the game for a six year period so we have the advantage of seeing what players' attributes are going to be like after the initial six years in the game. To kick off, we're going to go to the top of the tree and we're going to show you someone who you would expect to be there still, even after all this time, Robert Lewandowski. So we'll have a quick look at his stat attributes here. So you can see he hasn't even dropped off physically. He's still got the acceleration and the pace. His balance is 20. His natural fitness is huge. That helps to keep him nice and fit as old as he gets he is 32 he can still finish and he's still got a great first touch you get such value for money with this player but you're unlikely to be able to prize him away from Bayern Munich as you can see he stayed there since he left Dortmund on a free transfer he's scoring goal after goal if you look at the goals per game ratio it is huge 20 goals in 30 games there in the league for Bayern Munich Next up, we have a goalkeeper whose name I am scared to pronounce, Bart Lomiej Dragowski. Please leave me a comment and tell me how to pronounce that. I am terrible at pronouncing these names. He's a goalkeeper and he has some good stats. He's got aerial reach, he's got kicking, he's got handling and reflexes. He's got position, he's got great positioning, which is awesome for a goalkeeper. He's got anticipation agility which I like in my goalkeepers and obviously jump and reach is essential he's tall he's six foot four and you can see on his graph there he's a great goalkeeper if we have a look at his average rate in here mm, he doesn't play he hasn't played a single game for one two three four five seasons which is a shame he's definitely someone I'd look at picking up then from Bayern Munich very good little goalkeeper. Next on the list, we have a guy called Carol Linetti, who is a defensive minded midfield player. He can tackle, he can pass, he can mark, and he's got good long shots as well as a good first touch, which means you can bring him in to a good team to play good football because he can put his foot on the ball and he can pass as well as doing the defensive dirty work. He's got a huge work rate, which is what you want from your players playing that role, and he's got good decision making ability which is always good in any position. He's got stamina and he's got strength. Let's have a look at his graph. I can see it being an all-rounder. He is an all-rounder, apart from maybe aerially. He isn't that strong. You can see his jumping reach is only 8 and he is 5 foot 9. He's a very good at defensive-minded player and his average ratings aren't too shabby either. He plays a lot of games and he does chip in with the odd goal and the odd assist. Someone who I would personally love to have in my team. Next is Lucas Teodorski. Right, this guy is a good striker. He's got finishing, he's got composure. He's like uh, a bit like Lewandowski there. He's got heading, he's got passing, he's got off the ball, he's got anticipation. He's a great little player. I wonder how much he cost Dynamo Kiev. He's played for Dynamo Kiev throughout the whole game and he cost those £3.2 million when they bought him. Oh, he doesn't have a lot of games, which suggests to me he's maybe quite injury prone. His four games, goals per game ratio is good, but his amount of games per season isn't great. So I suggest he's maybe got a problem with injuries. My scouts don't say that though, however, and they've got nothing but good things to say for him. He's a fairly consistent performer, so maybe he just doesn't get the games for Dynamo Kiev. Very good player who I would definitely buy. He's got, and we'll go back to him, he's got everything you need from a good poacher, especially the heading and the finishing and the composure and off the ball, as well as the pace and a little bit of strength. Fantastic little player. Wojciech Chesney, the Arsenal, former Arsenal goalkeeper, he's playing for West Brom here. A lot of good technical goalkeeper stats here. Reflexes, rushing out one-on-ones, handling, so you'll be a good sweeper keeper, which is a position you can use in the game. Command Siberia and aerial reach along with agility make him a very good prospect indeed. He will be expensive, I would have thought, if we have a look at his history here. He costs £6 million, which is very good for a goalkeeper. Obviously, Arsenal wanted to get rid of him. 
the season after the first season in the game. Great prospect here. And last on the list, we will go to Gredoret Kanasolarachka. Please leave me a comment and tell me how to pronounce these names. Ooh, he's a very good defensive little player. So he's got marking, he's got tackling, he's got heading, he's got positioning, teamwork and work rate. He's got a lot of mental, att mental attributes. He's got bravery, anticipation and aggression. Wow, he's like a very good version of... Mm, I'm lost for words. He's a very good player. He's got the defensive side of things you need. I would train him. Oh, he's already trained in the centre-back position. I would favour the centre back position for him. He's got, he's got the strength. He's got a little bit of pace, and because he can play in the middle of the park, he's got the technical ability to be a very good ball player midfielder. Although he hasn't got the compo composure. Funny little player, this guy, but he's definitely worth bringing in to do a job for you. Six foot one, good jump and reach. Yeah, he'd be a fantastic centre back. Brilliant. So thanks very much. That was the Polish edition. Please let me know of any other videos you'd like me to make. We will make them for you. Did you like this video? Then please subscribe for more great content coming soon.